this is Mandy J again and here I have the Funko Pop Disney Collection Jasmine in the red outfit. I have her both in the Barnes Noble exclusive glittery outfit along as the regular one. Um, I really want to do a comparison of the two just because they are slightly different but still very similar and just to kind of get an idea of like what you might be getting if you're getting multiples of these. Um, I really kind of jumped for joy when I found the Barnes Noble one just because that was the one I was more wanting than just the average um, once I found out that this was their exclusive and it being kind of shimmery and glittery and a little bit more extra. So let's jump right into it. So I have Jasmine um, displayed right here as the normal standard one you would get with just the plain red outfit. And then in the box of course is my exclusive. Though the boxes are pretty much identical except for the only major difference being the Barnes & Noble exclusive sticker on the side. Other than that you have the art of Jasmine like on most pops along with the pop logo, the Disney, the number of the pop. On the side we have Jasmine in the pose. I really do like this kind of backward land like the um, landscape in the background with the kind of um, vision of Agrabah, the city, with the dunes, and it actually has a really nice set of tones when it comes to coloring because it's in mostly the purples, the blues, with even um, the lights being kind of a yellowish pink tint with kind of a highlight of pink. So it's a really nice kind of backdrop against her and her red outfit. It really helps her pop because it complements it with, again, the yellow accents. On the back we have the rest of the wave and a wonderful wave it is. It's a wave that I'm really excited about because I do know that there is a Hot Topic exclusive Abu that is flocked. Um, Jafar the Red Genie actually is a, um, the one that has the chase in this wave. He glows in the dark. And then I really just want Raja because it's very well done, very good figure. And then Aladdin, really cool tidbit is that he's actually holding a piece of bread behind him. So if you happen to get him, I would definitely suggest taking him out of the box for that. But otherwise, on the back we have the Disney logo, we have Agrabah the castle, and we have again the art of Jasmine. And then on this side, just the window, the basic name and all of that. So here we have them outside of the boxes and one thing that you can automatically tell right away is that the Barnes & Noble exclusive here with the shiny um, outfit is definitely a darker outfit as well. And what I really like is that it does do like the two-toning so that way her like waistband kind of stands out from her pants. Where if you notice on the normal average um, red outfit Jasmine. It's very kind of one tone. There is a slight variation between the pants leg and the waistband but not quite enough for it to really make like a big difference or really pop unless you really focus on it. <clears throat> also a couple things I do notice is as I look at them is like the Barnes Noble exclusive. I don't know if this was just like a mess up but like her body tone, like her hand, her belly and everything is definitely a slight shade darker than her face and as the um, regular Jasmine definitely seems to have a better coat of color um, along her body. So it, you can definitely tell with them side to side that this one has a darker skin tone than this one. I don't know if it's just like they ended up doing like a remix of colors and this one wasn't quite mixed as well or they mixed it slightly darker. But I feel like it, the body tone doesn't quite match um, the skin color of her face. Um, and that's one of my biggest complaints about this one. And then also you can kind of tell where they've went over the um, waistband with like a glittery paint and they didn't quite keep all the glitter on the um, waistband and it kind of goes up onto her stomach. Um, other than that, this is a really good one. The gold on this one has, um, it's better just because it's more, um, like the same toning throughout like on her armband here it's the same kind of shade as her earrings and her shoes and also the crown and hair tie up above where I feel like the jasmine from the regular one that you get mine at least it kind of goes like some places are definitely lighter like her shoes are lighter than her earrings um her crown's definitely that darker color that matches my Barnes & Noble exclusive um and sadly the um snake on her arm is definitely a lighter gold so it doesn't pop as well 
Also, my normal um, Jasmine, she tends to ha not have the greatest paint job. When it comes to her um, outfit, you have kind of like the miscoloring on the bottom of her pants leg, the um, red heater on her chest, like at the very tip, um, has seemed to wear or faded. It almost looks like her top see-through, actually, to tell you the truth. So some people argue that it just makes her that much more sexier. And then um, the paint along the bottom is really like sloppily done. Um, this is one that I will definitely like over the summer I will take my um, average Jasmine. I'll probably get some paints and touch her up. Just kind of improve on her. Give her some like um, definition and such. I wouldn't really do too much on the hair because I feel like with proper lighting she has the proper highlights and shading to her hair to give it really a great three dimensional. I really do like this like hairstyle too. I feel like it has a great dimension and a great flow to it. So I'm really excited about that just because I feel like it has some kind of movement to it and it really I think portrays her hairstyle very well um, compared to how it is in the movie. So I really do enjoy that. Um, but she does have some definite paint problems. Even up here it looks like someone accidentally put a, um, their thumb on her hairband. So there's like a thumbprint in this paint job here. So I would definitely, um, over the summer, she'll be probably my first one to kind of customize just a little bit. Just give her a better paint job. Maybe add some things. Give her a wash to add some dimension to her pants and such. Just to kind of give her a pop. Um, maybe add a little bit of sparkles to her as well. Um, overall, I really do think my favorite one out of the two is definitely the glittery, um, one Barnes Noble exclusive, just because I feel like it has more of the dimension, and if I wasn't gonna do the, um, custom on her, I would definitely suggest that anyone who's interested in picking up this pop should probably try to get the Barnes & Noble exclusive just because I feel like it's more visually pleasing, very much has more dimension to it, and, um, tends to, I think, stand out a little bit better, and I feel like she would really add a little bit of spice to your collection, where I feel like the average one is really good. Like, in general, we never see her in her red outfit, and so I'm just really glad they came out with this pop, but I definitely feel like out of the two, Barnes & Noble really got, like, the better one. And so that is kind of my feel on the two comparisons. Definitely feel like I will highly suggest that anyone get the Barnes & Noble exclusive. I can't say too much about her. Most of the, like, her paint looks really awesome. She has a really good texture to her. She doesn't have any real miss paints except for maybe the glitter being in other places. But for overall, the um, paint job on her is really well done. And... That's all I really have to say about this pop. I just, it's a really great pop. I really enjoy it, really love it. And I'm super glad to have her in my collection and I can't wait to get the rest of the wave. And that's all I have to say. So have an awesome day and please leave a comment if you have any questions, concerns, or whatnot, even a funny joke. We'll be more than happy to read those and have a good one.